Joining us on the show now is Peter McQuarrie, he's CEO at Exim Australia. Peter, hi, good to have you. And uh, what a week this has been. And uh, the US inflation data yesterday is something that really seems to be making up minds now and uh, putting in that probability higher, really, of a first interest rate cut coming in for September. How have you read various data and, of course, Powell testimonies, a couple of them that we saw in this week, and its impact on precious metals? Well, good afternoon, Manisha. I think a couple of things. Um, first off, I think it's taken everyone by a little bit of a, a wake up that it is going to actually materialise. And I think that that was the big point. Are we going to see a September rate cut? And that's where it all seems to be very much pencilled in with probably about an 80 percent probability. It pushed precious metals well up and gold's had a really nice uptick. I noticed silver also back through 31. It's sitting the best part of 3107. So it's quite strong. And I think there's going to be further upside yet because this all needs to work through the market. And CPI seems to be a little bit more under control, which is going to be a good point as far as gold and precious. Hmm. Peter, what is the kind of price view that you would have going forward from here? Because various banks and brokerages are putting it anywhere between 2400 to 2700 until the first half of 2025. It'll even be more bullish than that, Manisha, because many are coming out there and they're also saying that that 3,000 could be taken. I'm not going to go that far out, but I feel as though that we've got the best part of five and a half months to run till end of year. And you've got a lot of movement over that time. You've got geopolitical concerns. You've got, of course, interest rates starting to be cut and central banks will be following suit. So all of that needs to work through. And I feel as though in the in the fourth quarter, it's going to be far more dynamic than the rest of this quarter leading in. So we've still got six weeks or seven weeks to go for this quarter. And I think the fourth quarter is really going to be showtime. Mm. And I remember, Peter, our last conversation when you said you're more uh, you know, bullish on silver rather than gold. Are you still holding yeah. on to that? And while we're holding above $30 an ounce, where do you, these price, where do you see these prices heading? So first, Manisha, yes, I am. I'm far more bullish on silver. I feel as though that they're, you know, under investment over the last decade or more across that whole sector. So there's the first part. And the second, and huge demand. And second, secondly, I feel as though that's probably 35 has got to be the first bus stop. And it could go well up to, you know, over 40, I think, in the short run, um, I'd say probably over the next three months. Uh, where it runs after that, I've just got to see what happens with gold and um, geopolitically because I think we're in for some real, really exciting times again for that uh, precious metal market. Mm. Peter, it also has been a good week and a good previous month as well when it comes to the crude oil prices, with most people now betting on higher prices for this quarter. Well, whether it's about the U.S. demand that really seems to be picking up on ground and the jet fuel demand as well, the geopolitics, yeah. the hurricane, the rate cut expectations, all of that clearly seems to be on the supporting side. Absolutely, Manisha. I mean, you can't get a plane anywhere. I've just been traveling and you just, you're on standby. It's just incredible. There's just no seats. So everyone's traveling. There's the first part. So the demand is very, very strong. Secondly, as you mentioned, as far as hurricane season, we're yet to really kick off. But that is traditionally, you know, that midpoint as far as July is really the starting gate. And it's the middle of the season is always about the 11th or 12th of September. So we're a fair way to run two months. And that's only the midpoint. So, yes, I think uh, crude will end up a fair bit higher than where we are at the moment, but it's very choppy, but it's still, um, you know, fairly strong considering where we were January 1 to where we are today. Oh, absolutely. And do you see higher prices? Do you see a possibility of 90 coming anytime soon? Yeah, you're not far short. I mean, you know, you're looking at the best part of Brent. You're still at that, you know, 85, 86 sort of handle. So I think it's got the potential, Manisha, to be certainly up near 90 very, very quickly. I'd say by month end, I'm pretty confident in that because I think that it's a genuine uplift at the moment. US dollars coming off. It's sitting at that 104.40, 104.50 US dollar index on the screen. I'm just looking at it now. So that seems to be the uh, the the sort of momentum. US dollar softer. Rates, will, that'll all have to work through. Rates down dollar down and uh, commodities will go on a run. Oh, yes, they are. And since you did speak about dollar index and we've seen quite a decline onto that one, do you see further weakness onto this one continue? Mm, yeah, I think I won't be surprised under 104 by the end of the month. It's 104.40 at the moment, 104.50 on your screen. So I think there's every chance it could be well and truly under 104. It just seems to be that downdraft is starting to really kick in and... Uh, yeah, I think that's the general mood at the moment, softer dollar, and uh, we'll just have to see how that runs for the rest of the couple of, next couple of weeks up until August 1.